Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be having a play in my Circle Art Journal. So, let's have a look, see what I've been doing. So this is my Circle Journal. And I'm just going to take out one of the sheets so I can work on it completely independently of the journal itself. I can keep that safe to one side. And what I'm going to do is bring out my black gesso. I've got a tub of black gesso. This is the Dina Wakely Media black gesso which is a bit more well has more of a, a gel consistency than some of the runnier types so I do quite like using this you do tend to get quite a nice deep black and all I'm going to do is completely cover my circle page with the black gesso now because this isn't a very interesting process and it is literally like watching paint dry I'm going to do a little bit and then I'm going to jump to the end Okay, my page is completely covered and dry and I'm bringing out the titanium white acrylic paint from Reeves and I'm just going to mix that with a little bit of water from a little spritzer bottle and using my fan brush I'm just going to give it a bit of a mix and then I'm going to add some splatters and sprinkles all over the page. So this is an image of the man in the moon, I couldn't decide whether to use him, or a picture of the moon itself, or, and I had an idea, I combined the two. So there we have the man in the moon and the actual moon picture itself, and these are from um, graphic stock sources, so I did actually pay to download this image, but it's okay to use in this because I'm not selling it and it is classed as fair use. So as you can see, I'm just going to add some glue to the back of my little moon face and I'm going to stick that into the centre of my page using the Ranger collage glue stick. This is the triangle one. And I'm just making sure it's well and truly stuck down. So this is a stencil that I've drawn out on a piece of card and then just cut out with a, a craft knife and I'm just positioning that round about where I think it might fit, where it might go and I'm just going to just move it around, decide where I want to do it and then the best way for me to move forward with this, actually, because I've not actually tried the stencil with anything yet and I didn't want to commit straight away to the page. So I've taken a little bit of the black and white uh, artiste paint from Do Crafts and I'm just going to mix those together to create a little grey paint and then I'm going to grab a spare piece of card or a spare piece of paper and I'm going to try the stencil out on that first before I commit it to the actual page. And there you go, the stencil seems to work fair enough. So yep, I'm happy to go ahead and actually start using that stencil on my circle page now. So I'm just gonna grab the paint and I'm going to squeeze out a little bit more paint than I did before. So enough to be able to last me for the whole of the stenciling that I want to do. And I'm just going to mix that with the spouncer and then bring my page in and then I can start stenciling around the borders of my circle page. It's easy to look back and analyse how you do things differently on a page once it's complete. And looking back on this one, I probably would have made the stencil a little bit smaller so that there was a little bit more room between the roofs of the houses and the actual bottom or the actual outside of the moon face. So, but you live and learn. I'll know better uh, if I decide to do another one. And this is the first real stencil like this I've created. So, you know, it's a learning process.
And one of the other things I discovered as well was that there was too much card on the outside of the stencil. I couldn't carry, just, just carry straight on with the stenciling because I would have smudged the paint on the, the outside of the stencil. So I had to dry each house in between each paint application. And that is where I caused the next problem. Now I don't know whether you noticed, but I had actually already put the card down in the paint in the top right hand corner. So under my finger, now on my left hand, I'm now rubbing gray paint all over the moon face. I didn't realize it at this point, but I will do after I've done the next house. If you look at the moon now, you can see the grey paint all on his nose. It looks like he's got a runny nose. So mistakes do happen, even to the best of us. And in a moment, once I've actually done the next house, I will notice. And there will be a moment of frustration, as you will see, when I realise what I've done and my stomach did drop. Um, and I thought I'd completely ruin the page. Um, and then began to wonder what I could do to try and rescue it. And that's one of the other great things about art journaling, is that even when you do make a mistake, there is always a way that you can recover from the mistakes that you make. And there, I've probably just noticed that I've made the mistake, there you go. I'm trying to rub it off now, and all the print and the actual card itself. There's the frustration, I've thrown in the towel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit and think for a second and then try and work out in my head what I'm going to do. Now, because I've, I know I have got that other moon face picture, I know I've got something that I can put over the top. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it to dry. And then I'm going to carry on and add on the houses all the way around the outside of the page. And then I'll tackle that mistake. So I've got it fixed in my mind what I'm going to do to get over my little problem. So I'm going to carry on with the stenciling and then I'm going to give it all a nice little bit of a heat blast and then I'm going to get that other moon faced image that I've got and then we will try and fix the problem of my moon in the middle. All the stenciling is finished now and it's all dry and I'm just trying to rub off any excess bumps or nubbins on the paper and I'm just grabbing the same collage glue stick that I used before giving the back of the moon face a real good coating with the glue and then I'm just going to stick that over the top there's no need to pull it or try and remove it from the page you might as well just stick it right the way over the top and it still has the same sort of whimsical effect that I wanted um, even though you can't actually see any of the moon pattern underneath it. It was just an old fashioned moon face now. So, but I'm happy with that. So I can then move on to the next stage of my page. This is the Signal White Opaque Rollerball Pen. So I'm just going to create some highlights with the white pen. Um, just on the houses, I'm going to go around and do the same highlight in the same place on each of the houses. Now that's all dry, I'm going to bring out some of the medium yellow Reeves acrylic paint and I'm going to add some yellow into just random windows and upstairs and downstairs just to show or give the impression that there are still a few people that are awake. So that's all I'm going to do, just add a little bit of that yellow paint into those openings.
So I'm just going to give it a bit of a dry because I don't want to be smudging that paint when I'm trying to write out my phrase, my quote for the page. And by doing that, I'm going to be using the same white Signal gel pen and I'm going to just add that with some hand lettering around uh, this first part of the quote anyway, around the top um, outside border of the page. So happy with the way that looks. So now I can finish off my quote and run that in the gap right the way across the middle. And that's it for me, page complete. So all that's left for me to do now is just to sign and date it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. One thing I did want to mention before I disappeared off was that um, I do have a blog and I do tend to blog four or five times a week, not necessarily everything that I show you on YouTube. So you do get to see bits and pieces that I've done that don't ever get featured on YouTube. I do pages in my dictionary art journal that don't have videos, so they go straight onto the blog. And I also do card making stuff and that goes straight onto the blog too. So if you're interested in card making and you're interested in finding out exactly what I've been up to in between videos, then my blog is the place for you to have a quick pop over and find out what I've been up to. And the link is in the description area below. Okay, well that's it from me. If you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.